A crucial catch can win football games, but it can also save lives. And no one knows that better than your Chiefs versus Charger coin toss captain. Breast cancer survivor Cynthia Garner, who's here along with breast radiation oncologist Dr. James Coster from the University of Kansas Cancer Center. So welcome both of you guys to the Thank show. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, Happy so there. Cynthia, can you just jump right in and tell us a little bit about your story. Sure, sure. Um, about a year ago, exactly, mm -hmm. I had my annual mammogram, no big deal, went in, um, mm -hmm. and then got a phone call a couple of days later and said, why don't you come back in? We just need to look at something. Um, that was on um, January the 4th. They did a sonogram and a mammogram and discovered a little tumor there. Did an immediate biopsy, and then I got the phone call that I had invasive lobular carcinoma which was totally wow. surprising to me. I had no indications. I was exercising, doing all the things right, and, and then had the uh, diagnosis. So I immediately called my brother, uh, Forrest, and said, this is what's going on. He's a cancer survivor as well, and he talked me off the edge, and then uh, called Cancer Center at KU, and they just took great care of me. Well, I'm glad that you had your brother to lean Absolutely. on during that time, and of course, some excellent medical care. Exactly. And Dr. Coster, you know, let's talk about what Cynthia's plan looked like when you guys started going through it. So, oftentimes, breast cancer shows up in a rather typical, predictable way, and uh, this started off as a very typical case. There was a small lesion on a mammogram and an ultrasound, but when we got the biopsy back, as Cynthia said, this wasn't your typical type of breast cancer. Uh, and our experience with these cancers has led us to understand that they're oftentimes underrepresented on imaging studies, traditional imaging studies. Mm -hmm. So we recommended a more sophisticated type of imaging be done, an MRI of the breast, which actually showed the tumor was more than three times bigger than what the imaging um, from the mammogram and ultrasound showed. So that created some surgical wow. challenges potentially. We like patients to have the option of breast preservation or mastectomy, mm -hmm. uh, but for larger tumors, that's not always feasible. So um, the breast surgeons at KU are specially trained in techniques to actually rearrange breast tissue after a large lumpectomy, so you can actually almost eliminate any negative um, cosmetic impact. Um, so they were actually able to take this tumor out and uh, reconstruct the breast without any adverse effects so you can hardly tell anything's been done. Well hearing that I mean that has to be amazing because that is a big fear yes. or something that women oftentimes do worry about in mm -hmm. the treatment process. That's exactly right. Yeah and Cynthia what was it that made you seek treatment at the University of Kansas Cancer Center? I've been with my primary care physician is with KU and I've been with yeah. the system for many 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 years but cancer in my opinion the, especially the team that I had is amazing. They focus on breast cancer and the team just rallied around wow. from the nurse navigators to the nurse practitioners to my primary caregivers. They've all been wonderful. So that, great friends, um, great family support. Great family. And we've even got yes. a picture of you and your grandson. Yes, so we my take Ellington. A look at that. Oh my there gosh, he is. How sweet is that? <laughs> That's my Ellington. Wow. So, yeah. Okay. And Dr. Coster, can you tell us a little bit about the Women's Cancer Center mm -hmm. at the Cancer Center? So the Women's Cancer Center is a key component of the KU Cancer Center. The KU Cancer Center is one of only 71 NCI designated cancer centers in the United States. It's the only one in the state of Kansas. Uh, the plan was to build a women's center from the ground up so that patients could come in and efficiently and comprehensively get all management oh. by a team of specialists mm -hmm. that that's all they do. Uh, and make it as efficient as possible so that they can go on, go on with their lives and um, receive comprehensive care while, while maintaining a life balance. And that's exactly what women are looking for. Now we do have to go, but Cynthia told me that she actually <laughs> was able to continue working. So when yes. I was saying she's such a rock star, she said she took her treatments on a Wednesday. Yes. That way she had some downtime on the weekend to that's recover. That's exactly right. So we are so happy that you are in remission now. Thank you. And of course, wishing you the best and both of you as you're going to be the Chiefs coin toss Yay. captain. So so thank you, Cynthia and Dr. Coster. The final Chiefs home game of the season, where Cynthia is your coin toss captain, <laughs> is December 29th against the Chargers. Kickoffs at noon, and the Chiefs play here on KCTV 5.